deterioration of sight in my right eye is progressive. Until now, it's really... Problematic. Bill Beaver sure is going I mean. blind in one eye. If, if, for example, I take a book and, and I cover my left eye, which is still good, all I see is mush except... His central vision is completely gone. But that's about to change at Oxford's John Radcliffe Hospital. In theatre, the surgeon uses a joystick to move the robot arm, which has a thin needle attached. Robot-assisted surgery is now commonplace, especially in cancer operations, but this will be a world first. Never before has a robot been used to operate inside the eye. This is delicate surgery involving tiny, precise movements to remove a membrane which is causing Bill's sight loss. Crucially, the robot can filter out the surgeon's hand tremors. The robot has to pivot around a tiny hole in the wall of the eye. Inside, it removes a membrane just a hundredth of a millimetre thick, shown in blue, which is covering the retina, allowing the hole in the retina to close. But if you could hold your watch face up, just put your head down. Like just a few this. days later, and the results are clear. I can see it's 22 minutes past nine. And before long, his distance vision will return to normal. It's almost the world of fairy tales, but it's true. It's the difference between being active and, and uh, doing the things I need to do and enjoying art and enjoying life. The surgeon says the robot was more accurate than the human hand. I think we're going to go into a new era of eye surgery where we're going to be placing things at the back of the eye under the retina very much more accurately and with much greater precision than we do at the moment. We can certainly improve on the current operations, but I very much hope that we can do new operations that currently we can't do with the human hand. We can now do them with the robot. Retinal diseases are the main cause of blindness in the developed world. Robots should allow many more patients to have their sight saved. Fergus Walsh, BBC News.